back out in front that's broken up there by Tebow. He tries to get it out, but it's kipped in. Back over scores! And the Selects will take it out. Here they come. Selects inside the zone. McKenzie takes a shot and scores! Here come the Selects in alone. And he scores! Hello and welcome to episode number seven of the Select Show for your PBCN Selects. I'm your host, Austin Mattis, and today I'm joined by two 18-year-olds from Isle of La Crosse, Saskatchewan. Right beside me here is number 14, Anson Favel. And on the right side here, we got the newest member of the Selects, number 21, Carson Favel. Thank you guys for joining me today. Now, let's clear some things up here. Lots of people will probably see you guys have the same last name, probably think you're brothers. I thought you were brothers, but... Are you guys related? Like, how does that work? Can you clear that up for us a bit? Oh, uh, we're just second cousins, actually. Oh, just second cousins? Okay, well, there you go. So they're not brothers, they're second cousins. Clears it up, but you guys are related. So you guys are both from Isle, Isle of Cross, Saskatchewan, Isle of La Crosse, Saskatchewan. Can you guys kind of talk about what hockey was there growing up and how you guys both kind of started playing? Uh, growing up playing hockey in Isle of La Crosse is actually is an experience because uh, a lot of people from our hometown, they grew up playing hockey too. And for our age group, they really brought hockey to life for us and like i don't know we skated almost every day a lot back home as younger kids yeah mm -hmm. the rink was always open for us to go skate awesome yeah similar for me actually um we're really like we're on ice pretty early in age actually um basically on skates after we could basically walk for the first time and um you know we had a pretty good team grew up with all those guys whatever won a couple championships wow. and then i'm um, actually Moved to Meadow Lake pretty early also to play hockey, so I wasn't there that long, really. So I was kind of on the go, actually, yeah, pretty early. So would you guys say that small kind of community like hockey was a really important thing for you guys growing up, especially in a smaller community? I think I think Isle of Cross is about 1,000 to 1,100 people around there, so it was pretty important to you guys growing up? Oh yeah, hockey was, was pretty important growing up. A lot of sports, actually, but mainly hockey. But usually we didn't get our ice until... December, mid-December around, November. November almost. Yeah. Oh wow! Because we have natural ice, eh? Oh, okay. So, wait so till it gets cold. Anson, you've been on the team essentially since the very beginning of the PBCN Select. So, we'll start with you. How did you actually find out about the Selects and end up joining the team? Well, first, I was actually not going to play hockey for this year. I was thinking about putting up the skates, but my buddy Leon, not, Leon Nadamagan, number yeah. eight, he, uh, I seen a post from him in the summertime that he got signed to this team, first year franchise team. And uh, I just asked him if he could get me coach's number and I could ask him for a tryout. And the rest my, has been history. The rest is history. Yeah. Awesome, you liking that choice so far and yeah. coming to join the Selects? So how, how about you, Carson? How did you find out about the Selects? Similar situation, actually. Um, I was kind of talking to Gat pretty early here, like starting of the summer, really. And um, we are kind of kind of stayed in contact and um, I, I think we talked the most when I was down in Boston. I was actually considering coming here after seeing all the boys signing. And um, made a decision to go to Saskatoon for some school for the first semester. And um, second semester didn't really work out as well as I wanted it to. So moved back home and actually got in contact with Anson here and made it happen. And I was here the next day. So Awesome. So you actually scored your first goal in your first game and your second goal in the second game. Can you kind of talk us through scoring your first goal? How did it feel? And just kind of walk us through the you know, moments you remember about scoring that goal. Okay, so first goal, obviously, is always good to get the first one out of the way, especially for a new team in your first game. And uh, I kind of came here on a roll. So kind of, it's nice to have that net presence, what I was basically told to do on the power play. And it's always, like, it was great to get that first one out of the way, especially the way that Gat basically wanted me to do it. So... Yeah, so like it was kind of just a, a shot from the point or something from Jace Martin. Bounced out right on my stick and actually just flicked it over the goalie. Pretty easy goal, actually. So they, they basically <laughs> gave it to yeah, you. it's the garbage goal, but it's no biggie. Hey, it's your first goal as a select, and I'm pretty sure it felt pretty good. So you guys are now 10-0 and 0 to start the new year. How does, how does that feel to start off 10-0? and 0? feels pretty amazing, actually. Um, from the start of the year, I didn't think this was possible. Uh, we had a lot of players come and go, but Gat told us to trust the process, and we did. So here we are now, 10 and 0 in the New Year's. Yeah. It's a big accomplishment. It's paying off, yeah, and honestly, from the how you guys look at the beginning of the year to now, you guys just look like such a more complete team. But 
What would you guys say has been the most important thing for you guys that made this 10 win streak happen? Well, a lot of guys stepped up, honestly, and uh, we all picked up our game. We were practicing new things every day, and well, we have a lot of depth on our team, actually. Uh, four lines, three lines sometimes. And uh, well, every line can roll. We could all go yeah, well, compete, absolutely, compete yeah. with top lines in the league for sure. So now, Carson, you've only been here two games, but what are some of the things that's impressed you the most with the team? I really think the thing that impressed me the most was how team built this team. It's like everyone's a team player. You're, you know, you're never feeling left out, and everyone's always there and strong. And we're all best friends on the team already. Well, especially me being here only a week now. Um, I like how me, like the guys welcomed me to the team especially and you know I think that team cam that builds key team chemistry big time um, and I think that's the reason why you know what Anson said there about buying in having um, you know having this team behind you makes you want to like grind down and buy in and do your part so um, you know I think having that behind you is only going to increase what we have so far. Now with playoffs coming up, what do you guys think is the most important thing you guys need to work on if you want to continue? Because obviously teams are getting better, they're getting new players, their chemistry is getting just as good. So what do you guys think you need to do if you really want to keep this going? Well, for us, we are a pretty skilled team on the ice. And uh, we don't usually score much of those dirty goals, rebounds. We're, we're a really skilled team. We could put the puck in the net pretty much there in the O zone, anywhere in the offensive zone. and. Uh, but I think all we need to do is keep doing what we're doing, but buy in some more, buy in the practice more, take everything more seriously. And uh, yeah, we, we have it all here already. We just need to put in some more work. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. Carson, do you want to elaborate or? Uh, I basically think he said it all there actually, just yeah, that's basically it actually. <laughs> <laughs> now we're almost done all the serious PBCN stuff. So I got last two questions for you guys. Favorite hockey moment growing up as a kid? Uh, well, for me, I grew up playing hockey in my hometown a lot. So playing up with the older guys as a younger kid, and um, we had a lot of skilled players in our hometown growing up that are usually a year or two older than me. So playing with them and taking a championship with them in our Highway 155 League was a big, took a couple championships. How about you, Carson? Uh, so there's this indigenous tournament called Interprovincials that they have every year. I don't know if it's still going or not, but um, we kind of had like a, this little pickup team, just northern people, northern boys, and a couple of imports come in. And um, we were playing this really stacked Onion Lake team, and we ended up coming back from four down with like four minutes to go or something, and ended up winning in overtime. And uh, yeah, we ended up going all the way that year, and yeah, it was kind of big for our hometown also winning a tournament like that, being such a small place and whatever. So yeah, I think that has to Pretty be Pretty big moment for both you guys growing up, yeah? Sure, for sure. Now, best moment is with the select so far. The best moment for me playing with the selects is uh, beating OCN for the first time in our home barn, for sure, honestly. Um, that felt good after losing to them all year. Yeah. And finally picking it up, beating them, that felt really good. Now we just have to beat them in their home barn. Exactly. Now what about you, Carson? You've only been here like two games, but if you had to choose one. I think increasing that game win streak to 10 was pretty good. You know, the energy was high in the dressing room afterwards, and it was just a really good feeling overall. So that wraps up all of our PBCN stuff now. Now we can go to the lighter side. We found out about these guys, found out how they started playing hockey, found out about how they joined the PBCN selects. But now you guys can rest your shoulders. You know, now we got the rapid fire question section. So I know, I think you guys both seen the episodes. I got about 25 questions here and I've changed up the questions a bit actually. You know what, it's usually about the same 25 questions. I added a few new ones in there. So just to change it up a little bit. So you, Anson, you can answer first and then give it to him just so it works better with the mic. Celebrity crush. Um, <laughs> um, Dua Lipa. Jordan Jones. Favorite food. Taco time burritos. Oh yeah, tacos definitely. Favorite drink. Any kind. A cold brew. Oh, I gotta agree with that one also. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite junk food. Sour Skittles for sure. Oh, Ripple Chips. Oh, both real good. Favorite color? Red. Lime green. Favorite NHL player? 
I like Jason Roberts in this game. Oh yeah, okay, that's valid. I think I have two, Matthew Barzell and Connor McDavid. Favorite sport rather than hockey? Uh, track and field. Track and field. Favorite movie? Uh, that new Avatar is pretty good. Yeah, that's good. The Interview. Another, I watched that the other day, that's a great movie. Favorite hockey movie? Uh, Miracle. Mighty Ducks. Favorite holiday? Christmas for sure. Yeah, Christmas. Dream car? Uh, uh what's that? It's a Lamborghini, uh, Lamborghini Urus. It's like a... Oh, yeah, yeah, the, like the SUV. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was a really nice vehicle. Uh, McLaren P1. Oh, another great vehicle. Dream vacation. Uh, All-inclusive stay in Moscow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, I don't know. I'd go back to Jamaica. Jamaica's a good, a good place. Bora Bora, big beach guy. Oh yeah, both beautiful places. So now these last four are going to be more team-based, like about your teammates. So funniest guy on the team? Probably Tyler Bird. <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> Hardest hitter on the team? Ah, uh, Terrence Tutu for sure. Yeah, Terrence, Terrence definitely. Fastest skater on the team. We have a lot of fast skaters. Uh, Terrence is up there. Uh, fuck, there's a lot of boys on the team. I can't make up my mind. They're all, <laughs> yeah, no we have a lot of fast skaters. I think Owen. Is. Yeah, I think yeah. someone else said Owen too, yeah. And now the last one. I changed this question because the question I had before was, what, who, which guy on the team would you not let date your sister? And everyone just said the entire team. So I was tired of getting the same answer. So I changed this one up. The messiest guy on the team. Ooh. Okay. It's probably a lot of them, hey? <laughs> a lot of boys are pretty messy. Uh, I don't want to call anyone out either. Oh, it's okay. It's the point of this thing. That's the point. <laughs> Let him know. Uh, probably this guy. <laughs> Man, I don't know, actually. Uh... I'd say myself, actually. <laughs> uh, there we go. And that wraps up our rapid fire question segment. Now we're going to move on to another good segment, and that is the trivia. And I got some good questions for you guys today. They're a little bit of mixed up from this and that to even some team trivia. So we'll see how you guys do. Best is four out of five. A few different guys got that. Worst is, I think, Dom got two out of five or one out of five. So standards are pretty low, but also pretty high. So first question is, who won the 2011 Stanley Cup? Chicago. The Bruins. It is the Bruins, yeah. yeah. You knew it was at the back of your tongue, hey? Okay, well, you know, zero for one right now, that's okay. Who leads the NHL in points right now? Connor McDavid. Yeah, boom, easy. See, I gave you an easy one with that one. I gave you an easy one. This one is a bit more difficult. What are the five teams Jerome McGinley played for? Calgary? Yeah. Austin? Yep. The Avalanche? Yep. That's three? Yep. Man. If you get four, I'll give it to you. Okay, there's one more that's top. I see him in a uniform, but I don't know what team it is. <laughs> You're shooting the dark. I have no idea. It's all you. Did he play with Dallas? No. No, he got traded right away, right? Yeah, uh, it's the Pens and the Kings. Not, not too bad though, one of the three so far, like I said, you're, you're on pace to beat Dom, so that's, that's, that's okay. Who has the most penalty minutes on the selects this year? Yeah, so this is an answer question, basically. Yeah, says, who, who, who's, a, who's a big grinder on the team? Who, who lays the ball a lot, you know? I don't know, I'm thinking Terrence has the most minutes right now. Try once more. Bryson? Yeah, there we go. Bryson with 58 minutes in the box this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that... Would have been, been Macintosh, eh? Uh, yeah, he would have been up top if he was, yeah. So, now that's two out of four. We got one last one to put you guys right in the middle. This one is a kind of difficult one too. What jersey numbers are NHL players allowed to choose from? Like, NHL players can wear any number from this number to this number. One to 99? One to 98. 
Boom, one to 98. Players, the numbers they can't wear is zero, 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 or 99. So there we go, that wraps up the trivia. You guys got three out of five and I'll say, I gave you guys some, uh, some pretty decent questions there. So you guys did a great job right in the middle of the pack. Didn't do the worst, didn't do the best, but they're right in the middle. And that just about wraps up today's episode of the Select Show. Do you guys have anything you want to say before uh, to the fans before we head her off? No. You guys are all good? Okay, well, that wraps up today's show. I'm Austin Mattis. This is Anson Favel. This is Carson Favel. And this is the Select Show for the PBCN Selects.